So let us look to an implementation of consensus. We start with regular consensus in the field stop model, which means that we have perfect failure detectors. And in the end of this unit, we show how to implement a uniform consensus, still with perfect failure detectors in the field uh, stop model. So let us see the interface. So the interface is, as we can see here, two events, a request event, which is C propose a value. And we have an indication event, which is an output event, which is the decide C decide. And we have the properties that we discussed before, validity, integrity, agreement, and termination. So we are going to, this uh, consensus algorithm is called hierarchical consensus. And the reason for this is that we are going to give some ranks to the different nodes. And basically, we are going to choose the value decided by the first, the first correct process in this rank or ordering. So we are going to use a perfect failure detector. And we are going to use a best effort. And in a nutshell, here is what, what the algorithm is going to do. Each node stores its proposal in a local variable called proposal. A node may adopt another proposal. Okay. So a node may adopt another proposal by changing its, this, the value in uh, the local variable proposal. And it will store the identity of the last adopted proposal in a last prop. This is last prop is the identity of the node that from which it has adopted the last proposal. The algorithm works in round. It has n rounds if we have n nodes in the system. And in the first round, node 1 will be the leader. In the second round, node 2 will be the leader. And in the nth round, node n will be the leader. And every node, if it is correct in its round, it will decide. Every node, if it's correct, in this round. So what I mean, if node two will be the leader of round two, and if it is correct, it will decide on a value. Okay. So let us see how it works. So in any particular round, say round i, node i then is the leader, and we assume that this node is correct. So what does node i do? It will do a, a best effort broadcast of the proposal, and also it sends its identity. And it will decide on that proposal. Other nodes that are not a leader in this round will adopt I's proposal if they have not decided yet, which means these are nodes with numbers higher than I. And we remember the last proposal. In this case, the last proposal would be I. But the other alternative is if they detect that that leader has crashed, that they ignore him and they move to the next round. In both cases, we move to the next round. Either you adopt a proposal from the leader or you detect a crash of that leader, you move to the next round. So the basic idea of hierarchical consensus is the following. There must be a first correct leader. The first node that is correct during the whole session of executing the consensus. That node will decide on its value, on a value, whatever the value is. I mean, it could have been got it from another guy. And it will broadcast this value. But if it is the first correct node, it will decide on its value. So that is, it's here is important. And then it will broadcast. The properties of the best ever broadcast ensure that all correct nodes get this value. And from now on, every correct node adopts this value, and future round will only propose that specific value. Okay. This is the basic idea of the algorithm. So let us see. So we will first look to an execution which have some problem. The problem is called orphan messages. 
you will see it but you will understand immediately how to solve it so let us see so we have three nodes p1 p2 and p0 nobody has proposed so the last proposal is number is zero a proposes a p1 proposes a p2 proposes b and p3 proposes c let's see what's going to happen now so p1 will be the leader of the first round it will decide immediately on a and it will broadcast its value okay now assume that p1 has crashed we'll continue the execution now so when p1 have crashed we assume also that p2 detected the crash by its perfect failure detector so it moved to the second round whereas whereas p3 did not detect the crash yet now p2 is in the second round so it will propose its own value because it didn't get the value out of p1 and so it proposes the value b and it says that i am the proposer with a pro last proposal number two now p3 got it did not it didn't de detect the crash of p1 but it got a message and with a next proposal value which this message has a proposal a but the last proposal number one so you can see in round two p3 first got a proposal from p2 which is b and later got a proposal which is a from p1 but p1 has has um, crashed but it got it with a last uh, proposal number which is lower than than this one so if it overwrites the proposal then it will decide on a and that is wrong so this is the problem so so you only adopt a proposal from a node i if i is higher than the last proposal so you do not adopt this proposal because the proposal number is lower than the last proposal now you move to the last round and you decide and that's it okay so that is the algorithm so in this case if you adopt this you will not decide on b on a but you will decide on b okay so that would be b and b if you ignore this value if you ignore this value so the invariant to avoid orphan is a leader in a round r might crash but much later affect some other node say in round higher than i some round higher than i we saw that when we saw p3 being affected later in round two which the leader crashed in round one so we rank the nodes we adopt a proposal if the node that proposes is ranked higher than the current value we have adopted until now if that if we get a proposal with a lower value it would mean that that node has crashed and should be ignored basically otherwise we couldn't get a proposal with a higher value so let us look at execution without failure to understand this again so a proposes the values here a with the last proposal number will be in this case one and one one and one now both p2 and p3 move to the next round which is round two you can see that p2 now have ad has adopted the proposal of p1 so it decides on a and again it proposes a and in fact p3 will adopt this proposal it is the same doesn't matter but it will adopt it because it has a higher value than higher proposal number than than the one it adopted before and then that will decide on a so that is fine so let us look now to an execution with failure this one what was without failure so an execution with failure we'll see what's going to happen here p1 decides on a and fails 
This proposal now is adopted by P3. P2 detects the failed node, moves here, and decides on B. This proposal has a higher proposal number, so it overrides this one. And now both P2 in round 2 decides on B, and P3 on round on round three decides on B and we have A that has failed deciding we have P1 that has failed deciding on A so clearly this is not a uniform consensus we stop at this point now thank you